Hey guys, I am Uncle Bernard and welcome back to Random Game Wednesday where today we are playing 80 days. Uh, where the aim of the game is to travel around the world in 80 days. It's that simple. Um, well obviously it's not going to be that simple, things are never that simple. So before I carry on let me just check. Uh, da, 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 da. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, uh, no. Let's click to begin. London. Back in my country. That's where I am. Well, I'm not in London. Monsieur Phileas Fogg returned home early from the Reform Club and in a new fangled steam carriage. Besides, what? I helped him down and the iron lunged, steam driven horses clattered away. What? Passer partout, said he. We are going round the world. Around the world, monsieur. Very good, monsieur. Uh, around the world. Uh, around the world, monsieur, I asked, utterly astonished. We shall circumnavigate the globe within 80 days. He was quite calm as he proposed this wild scheme. We leave for Paris on the... 8th, 8th, the 25th of the 8th in an hour. Or is that 8.25? Yeah, I put it 8.25. I couldn't tell if it was a time or a date. Um, in an hour. But I have not prepared. You are in jest. This was a shocking turnabout. I have not prepared. I said, wretchedly, quick, quickly trying to organise a list of necessary items in my mind. Then do it now. Pack an altimeter and my evening and my evening jacket. There is not a moment to waste. You, passport two, now have funds. Your character is now steadfast. Awesome. So we're going to travel to Paris first. Uh, we're going to pack. So he wants his evening jacket. Uh, he wants that. Describe a scrubbing a recording of a symphony. Uh, no, it's just a man. In this so can I take out these out? I can. But I take it we'll need clothes. He definitely needs these two. He said he needs them. Like this. Yeah, that's probably the most useful thing in the... Um... Okay, we're packed. Our completed English wardrobe should help us negotiate time for upper class journeys. Awesome. So these are all the new routes we can travel. Let us depart. God's van has space for one suitcase, which will suffice. Travel, this looks like a bearable option. It's bearable, it's, you know, I wouldn't say it's good, but it's bearable. Hurry up. The mechanical horses raced past. Piccadilly Circus and Pall Mall, faster than a team of thoroughbreds. Even so, the whistle of the A25 was blowing as we pulled up to Charing Cross Station. We have no tickets, I exclaimed. We raced along the concourse and threw ourselves aboard. We have no tickets, I exclaimed, in horror. That does not signify Monsieur, Monsieur Fogg remarked over his shoulder as he hurried toward the platform. We must not miss this train. I rushed after him and leapt aboard. Uh, I rushed after him and we leapt aboard. Just another train whistle pierced the air. A guard raised his thick brows at us. We settled into a nearby compartment. He held out a hand. Tickets, please. I pretended to have lost... No, that wouldn't work. That never works. I asked Monsieur. We are in a great hurry. I explained, giving him a beseeching look. We did not have time to buy tickets. You may purchase them for me, the guard was saying. Though it is more expensive, I'm afraid. £85, please. Uh... 
I argued with him. I argued with him, or rather, I began to, but Monsieur Fogg interrupted. Basir Batou, you will pay the sum at once, he put in coldly, and renumerate this man for his patience. Renumerate? I guess that means pay more. Okay, fine. I'll hand over a hundred to, for, to apologize. I gave around a hundred and added a word or two to advice about allowing a little leniency to gentlemen in their hours of need. The guard gave me our tickets and slid the compartment door shut behind him with a pneumatic hiss. Your funds have gone down by a fair amount. Your character is now presentable. I am on fine form, but we must make haste. How much a certain sure for? Uh, journey. But tell me, monsieur, what is the purpose of our journey? I have made a hefty wager and I did not intend to lose. This journey will be most expensive, monsieur. Indeed, but we can earn a little from buying or selling our possessions as we travel. London smog gave way to rolling hills and the pastures of the Kentish countryside, still untouched by the hand of technological advancement. Jafarg read his paper whilst I repacked our bags. That one. Uh, Jafarg read his paper while I repacked our bags, thrown together in haste and confusion. As afternoon turned exonerably to evening, I discovered that my master was one of those gentlemen who broke their silence, rarely if at all. A guard rapped, a guard rapped on our door. A few miles before Dover, we are about to submerge, he warned. Take some people a bit funny, so watch out. What? Take some people a bit funny, so watch out. But it is safe, is it not? Oh, very good. I replied as though submerging inside a thousand ton metal train was quite ordinary for me. If you feel claustrophobic, the guard replied, try running up and down the corridor. I always find the exercise helps. With that, he closed the door. I doubted it. He appeared not to be constrained by mere matters of place and circumstance. An alarm sounded as the fins above the amphit... Oh my god. I can't read this. Amphitrite... We was extended with a hydraulic hiss. Night fell and we plunged past the end of the track into the freezing water of the English Channel. Your character is now zestful. You seem quite a handy man to be around, Passepartout. The amphite ploughed through the water overnight and splashed up onto wider gorge. French tracks at Calais as dawn broke. Do you have a route in mind? I began to consider what we might require for our journey. Do you have roots in mind? I asked as the water of the channel dried from the compartment windows. I am as yet undecided, my master admitted. The new canal has sped up shipping routes from Suez to Bombay, though perhaps we could take the Trans-Siberian Railway across Russia. Surely not Siberia. I don't fucking know. Uh, I exclaimed, it is so cold and grim and I have particular fear of bears. Then we would do well to buy furs, he replied. Refraining from rolling his eyes, there are two alternatives. There are other alternatives, not two of them. Well, there could be two. We also may travel overland and across the Black and Caspian Seas. But which is fastest? I believe, said he, that it was... What? That is what we shall put to the test. Parbleu, I scarcely knew what to think. We arrived at Paris, Gardou Nord, just after one o'clock. Automaton porters lifted our luggage and then our persons onto the platform with long, delicately filigreed in iron arms. What is this? Is this English? Paris, city of my heart. I was home, but not to stay. I'm going to need a lot of drinks for this one. This is a lot of reading. So we've got a new route from there and Moscow. So we've got to head from England all the way back to England, basically. Some of our possessions could earn as well here. Uh, market. 
Travelling cloak, good for keeping action heavy rain. Yeah, sickness is psychological. Uh, I think it's all our evening jacket. And we won't need that, we don't need wine. I think the travelling cloak would actually be quite good. I should extra suitcase would actually be quite good for me. How do you buy? How do you buy? We need another case as well. Yeah, I got that. And I do think that the drumming secret will be quite good. Okay. Let's explore a bit. Let's see what happens here. Wow, that worked very well. We had a few hours to spare. I asked Monsieur Fogg if I might enjoy my city before we had to leave. Indeed, and you should learn anything of note, but sh sure to rely it, relay it. I nodded and headed into town. The talk on the streets was one of, uh, was only one thing. An enormous elegant oval stadium constructed upon the green fields of Champ de Mars and containing the technological marvels, arts, amusement parks and milling crowds of the World's Fair of 1872. My city still wore the scars of last year's siege, I ventured to decide. But I was certain Monsieur Fogg did not intend for me to visit fairs. My city still was siege. As did I, Paris and France had surrendered to the Parisian army after four and a half months of grim blood-soaked resistance in the Fran Franco-Parisian War. Now this World's Fair was intended to reassure the country's citizens. That one, that's pretty better. And the word also uh, that the City of Light was still a great capital of, world, of the world. I did not doubt that. But I was still somewhat over, overwrought, overawed as I entered. Perhaps there was something to be learned from my master inside. Uh, but perhaps there's still something to learn. So I entered the grand illuminated pavilions of the exposition. I went towards the airship hangar. Past a booth with a husband and wife pair selling panoramic hot air balloon rides to eager tourists. And was crowded with airships and flying vehicles of all ships and sizes attended by sharp eyed crews from all over the world and my eye was immediately caught by metal balloon uh, what would catch my eye I'll have to go with the Egyptian Ifrit class airship uh, painted all over the style st stylized poppies and feathers it resembled nothing more than a vast flying sarcophagus who was flying such things? I asked the exhibitor. Indeed, hundreds of them do, and every day. He replied with a booming laugh. Ha 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 They say the skies of Arabia are crisscrossed with the trails of the Egyptian ships. Perhaps one day soon, Monsieur Fogg and I would find ourselves flying in such a craft. I returned to the exposition centre, my thoughts turning with clouds and engine rotors. Avenues sprawled in every direction between the inviting illuminated pavilions of the exposition. I decided to take my leave. Uh, I returned to Monsieur Fogg who was eating a meal of plain boiled bouffard. Oh my god. Oh god, I'm gonna offend some people. Bouffard l'anglaise. Bouffard l'anglaise? Did you enjoy the exposition? My master inquired indifferently. God, I can. I, I wouldn't be good in um, Victorian England as well in France or any country with a different language because I am no good at that. And so I had been out visiting an age, aged great aunt. Uh, and I nodded. Nothing else could possibly impress me now. We are unspeakably lucky to live in such an. Uh, yeah, that one. That's a pretty good one. I declared. It will certainly make it easier to win my wager, Monsieur Fogg replied mildly. I dreamed that, that night of mechanical wonders and automatons 
My app had just came on. With beautifully enameled faces, knowing little of the strange inventions and strange peoples. I would soon encounter in my journey around the world. I just plan. So, we're in Paris currently. We can either head to Vienna. Or possibly to Rome. Uh, I'm gonna head to Vienna. The Orient. Oh, the Orient Express. I think this project could be altered. What do I mean altered? What do I do? Wow, I thought. Oh, Timber 2. I don't know why I was in Timber 2. I love Timber 2. So have you got to find the time? Oh, God, the time's still going. That's Friday. I should think this project could be altered. Saturday. Budget is tomorrow to travel this way. We will have to stay the night. How do I? How do I make the start? Oh, that one. Okay. We took a hotel for the night. We will be comfortable here, Miss Fogg remarked. But travelling overnight will often be more efficient. So we must board the longest journeys available. Perhaps, he replied. A short answer indicates and I think that one day journeys might might often be more flexible in their timing and could allow for more connections. Still so the neighborhood of bits was the most enjoyable. Let us depart to Amsterdam. The car's roof has space for one suitcase per night. I have a second car. Love those goggles, mate. Love them. It looks like he's just going. It's like hurry, That's how much he's doing. It's going. We found a member of the coachmakers guild to carry us to Amsterdam. She loaded the cases onto the back, stoked the boiler, and took off at high speed along the coastal road, swerving around each corner with considerable skill and I think a touch of recklessness, some glee of as I discovered, a touch of showmanship. A Kong on tight. This would be a ter ter terrific ride. Greetings, driver. I cannot drive well if you talk to me. Stop. What can you do? I'm stop. How this is important. Is it possible to go from Stump to Cambridge? I wouldn't believe it. Is that a route from us to Prague? No idea, but I do know some buyers who will pay for geometry equipment from Prague. Well, I got geometry equipment. Once or twice, the metal rim wheels lifted the chassis clear from the road on one side, only to bump down after a chuff and puff more of the engine. We were jolted to lie on like some poultry. We must have topped 40. Perhaps even 50 miles an hour. A fibre's worth of travel. The Polish inventor Bozek, who had first attached a perfectly decent locomotive engine underneath a flimsy wooden crate, was clearly a genius. My good friends, if I were not destined to be a ballet until the day I have grey hairs in my ears, such gods were growing in popularity. Started from their use in farmsteads and extending up through the classes. It is said that King of Sweden now drove one. Um, Though presumably on the solidarity with the belligerent potato farmers. I'm going to drive about to the lay ahead and learn that you could obtain zootropes zo zo in Prague, extremely valuable in Izmir. Okay, let's go and sell this jumpsuit that we've got in our boat. 2.30. In 
Munich. And Back for one pound. So now we've got some new routes, so we can head to Copenhagen, Berlin, Munich. It does seem like um, Munich is the one place we need to go. This we can get from Mar to Marrakesh now. Oh damn it, I missed the bank. Let's just quickly plan now while we're still here. So, we're currently in Amsterdam, so we could take it to Christina, which arrives on Sunday, which is Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. I love how the car moves. Uh, I'd probably head to Berlin. Because Munich is the one place where it does seem like everything goes through. Then we could head to... Uh, so we'll be in Munich, head to Budapest. Oh, no, Venice. Venice would be a good place because that, again, is also a place that heaven heads through. So it could take us literally all the way from Athens all the way to Istanbul. Which would be a good journey. So Munich is our, um, our way ahead. Thoroughly on gentlemanly behaviour. But it's just going to try to get back tomorrow. Uh. Ah, uh, no. It's not going to be What? Yeah, that's better. That's better. That's a Christina. Hotel. Do all the people of Amsterdam move out of the cash streets with a sense of optimism and good cheer? I mentioned that for a little time. I found a street peddler who greeted me with a cheerful smile beneath a caterpillar like moustache. What is the fastest way out of here? Car, I suppose, the roads are good, the canals used to be better, but now they seem to almost out of date, he sighed. <sighs> it is a curse to be rich in the past. By the time the future rolls around, you are poor again. Maybe you'll be rich again someday, I remarked. More from sheer optimism than any true conviction, the fellow reached out into his pocket. Buy an apple? One pound. Sure, why not? We both then took it with a smile. I found the pebble and moved on. The funds have gone down a touch. Just a touch. Just a little tiny bit. But the path. We're going to Christina. Why can't I head to Christina? Oh, I don't think this is open. Oh, great. This is in 20th of... What? No. So it turns out I can't even use that. Okay. I paid for good tickets. I'm getting those tickets. So let's explore. See what happens. Ah, we've got a new route to Munich. I'll take a few hours to explore investigating the various options for how we might continue our journey. Oh, 
Oh, they can't even go that way. Ah, this will take us, oh my god, this will take us really far. That's really good. So if we head all the way to the uh, there, that's good. Yeah, spend the night, spend the night. I could take this. Drive on Monday. We could take the car. Right, we'll spend one more night and then we're going. My God. The what remained of the day? And it's a minor of a program, I don't know. Where should we can strengthen slightly? It told us to spend the night. A small barge docked by the canal side, so Monsieur Fogg appeared skeptical. Our goal, he reminded me, is to circumvent the entire globe in less than three months. This boat looks to become capable of less than walking speed. I assured him we'd make some progress, though I was not sure how I would arrange it. Very good, he replied, accepting my word on the matter. The rope was released and we took off on the bank and began very slowly to pace our way down the river. Good day, Spiat. Good day there. I am the pilot, yes. But Munich. I'm sure you know all about Munich. Not for me, I think. Is it possible to commit? I doubt it. Wow. Um, I'm just gonna... Now talking to you. There must... There must, my master reflected thoughtfully. Be some way to make this barge a little faster. It's powered after all. Indeed, there is a boiler and a power. He nodded. So see, see to it. Open mouth and close it again. And if it cannot be done? It can, he asserted. I left the cabin and went up to the deck. It was certainly true that there were, that we were crawling. We had left the canal and joined the Rhine, and, and working against the currents, the boat seemed to be barely moving at all. I went to look at the boiler, but it seemed to me a most simple affair. Coal in, steam out, and only so much coal would fit. I went to the barge pilot. When revealing my purpose might make her uncomfortable, it is possible she knew I ways to achieve my master's goal. How does this barge work? The pilot shrugged. It's steam powered, obviously. There's a paddle wheel underneath, I think that's it. What's the way to make the as fast as it can go? About this fast, she replied. We can do a little more if we shut the flue on the boiler and keep the steam in. I slunk away to try it. Finding the flue in the boiler room was easy enough. It took just a moment to flip shut. The response from the engine was immediate. It began to roar inside with a deep, fro throaty sound. And the boat began to plume through the water. My master would be pleased. There we go, you see. I'm a mechanic, but I can fix anything. I woke to find that we had made excellent progress overnight. I'm sure Fogg was overjoyed. He tied his cravet, even combined his own must comb did not combine. His own moustache. Munich by this evening, he remarked. A very good outcome. Indeed, I'm sure. I answered Oh my god. Demurely I contented my knowledge of a job well done. It was that moment, of course, that the boiler decided to overheat. The stovepipe blew off and back off the boat, and we slowed to a full halt. I raced to see the problem. It was clear there was no easy solution. The barge pipe was 
scratching her head with an adjustable spanner. I can't see how it happened, she sighed. I had tuned the engine just right. Air, air pressure, no doubt, the replied Vega. Perhaps so, the woman replied, but she did not seem much happier. She set about fixing her engine while we idled in the water. It was not until evening that the barge was on the move again. Paris World Fair and Boring Success. The barge moved across the steady waters not too fast and not too slowly. There was nothing else for us to do. I'm sure Vagan involved himself with a newspaper and I passed the time studying. The appeal of passers by. Uh, we have passed time studying the uh, passers by. German fashion is a little behind Parisian styles, but it has a certain balance of practicality and flourish that I confess I admire. There are certainly more women who have embraced dress reform here and, and in London. I counted our only a tenth in corsets is that. The character is not courageous. No oh, fight a flamboyant type, I see. Flamboyant, not flamboyant. Ah, we feet Munich. We moored at the dark close to Munich and closed the remaining miles in the back of a bizarre car. I design much the same as the boat, but on wheels. Still, but miles an hour. It was a wonderful experience over a sluggish trip of the water. Imagine Munich just as night was falling. Okay, well, I'm going to leave this here. Can I go into settings? There we go. Paused. I'm going to leave this here. Uh, this is a really good game. Um, it does immerse you. It is a little bit... I struggle to understand it uh, a little bit, like planning. I'm not really good at planning. That's why I don't do much planning myself. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, and I'll see you in another video. Bye, guys.